Hello everyone, it is Jesus Bricks here, and welcome to day two of my LEGO Ghost Rider Marathon. Today we're going to be taking a look at Frank Castle's Punisher as the Cosmic Ghost Rider. This is my favorite motorcycle and minifigure that I have made for this marathon. <laughs> and I do intend to keep this put together for a while, just going to sit on my shelf probably, but I'll make sure it doesn't collect dust. I, mean, I gotta get better at that, but... Anyways, moving on with the build... Oh, excuse me. Um, Frank Castle just sits right there, and if you take off the chain here, then you can see that he holds them in these. He holds these handles here, which that was kind of complicated to make to get to like the accuracy uh, of them lining up. And then, um, oops, uh -oh. what did I do? What did I do? Something right here, man. Something. Okay, there we go. We're good, I think. We good? Are we good? Yeah, okay, we're fine. I thought I messed something up. Um, anyways, and then we got the exhaust beams here. He has three on the bike on each side, but I was only able to make one on each side with the dark silver pieces that I have. I didn't have enough of these pipe, of the curved pipe ones or the straight ones. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a Tron bike because of the black and blue. Uh, and then there's the light, and then this comes down, and this is supposed to look like a wheel, but it's actually a big ball of blue energy. I'll put a picture right here so you can see what I'm talking about. And if you'll notice, these are LEGO Dimensions character pieces, and they were the only light blue piece I have that looked like wheels to me, so I thought that was a really good use of those pieces. Uh, the back here, as you guys saw, like it turns into a chair right there. I'll take him off so that you guys can see what... I am talking. It is kind of, it's a little bit difficult to get him on and off because you got to line it up just right. But once you do that, um, then you should be fine. Uh, let me just make sure that this is all fine. Like, that's the, that's one of the only downsides to this is that you got to make sure everything is lined up right. Otherwise, it will not work. So I'm fixing that right now. Uh, but it's, it's meant to be a mock. It's meant, it's not... You can use it for play. I don't care what you do with it, but it is intended for uh, um, just display. God, what happened? Something got messed up here. Okay, that goes there, and that's still curved, so we gotta fix that, and we gotta fix that. What is happening? Okay, I fixed it right as I paused it, so I apologize for that. Shut up, car! Uh-huh, yeah. I don't even know if you guys heard that, but... Anyways, we're getting distracted. Uh, I thought it was a very good use of those pieces, and they just slide right in there, so it still got the blue on the outside. Um, here's the back here. It's got... it. You guys saw, there's the chair. It goes there, and then leans up. And then the back, I did my best here with... There were at least four on there, I think. Maybe five, but I was only able to fit three of the, the lines. But the back is just attached via those uh strong hinges and it creates the and if you keep these in the right spot it creates the illusion of it being like connected even stronger and then the engine here this big old engine i used one of these newer uh blaster pieces in there to make it look like the fire because this is a flying vehicle this one doesn't this one doesn't drive uh but I wanted to give it more of a motorcycle look and give it a wheel on the front to, uh, for just attention to detail and a bit more accuracy for those people that may be confused as to who the hell Cosmic Ghost Rider is. But, anyways, that's about it for the build. Let's take a look at the minifigure. So, as for the amazing Cosmic Ghost Rider minifigure, I think, like I said, I think I did amazing. I think I did as accurate as you can get it. Obviously, some people don't approve, or are not going to approve, but I have wanted to make this figure for so long, and I am very, very happy with it. So, I am going to take his chain off here, because he usually has it wrapped around him, but it's just a normal orange fire chain. His gun is an alien conquest blaster with an orange stud with a hole in it, and then one of these orange blaster pieces. And so, if we remove his weapons, you can get a better look at him. Um... So, the legs and the torso are from Iron Skull. I'm going to take uh, his helmet and everything off real quick because 
the skull on Iron Skull is like a tiny red Punisher skull. So I really like that. Unfortunately, it is covered up by Red Hood's shoulder piece. Yes, that's from the Batman movie CMF series, Red Hood. And it's very useful because you can put a helmet over it. And that is the first Taskmaster's head in there. It is a double-sided face, but I like to keep it on the smirking face. And when you wrap the chain around, it kind of hides it, but not entirely. But I love this technique. I have only seen one other person use this shoulder piece in a dome, but it didn't look right to me, and it didn't even get that much attention, so... I'm going to say I'm the first real person to do it, and the arms are from the DC CMF series Sinestro, because he has three uh, blue energy rings on his wrist. I'll put a picture up here right now, so that you guys can see the comparison, and you guys can give me feedback on how I did. This is my favorite LEGO Ghost Rider minifigure I have ever made, and no one's going to be able to beat it, but I'm very happy with this, and I hope you guys are very happy with this. Frank Castle Ghost Rider is a very close second for me. Now let's get on to the, tutor the tutorial of the bike.
Well, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please drop a like, leave a comment down below your thoughts on the bike and minifigure. Hit the subscribe button, turn on push notifications, you can notify every time I post every time I post a new video. Peace out guys, and I'll see you tomorrow with the next marathon minifigure and bike. Bye bye.